Betelgeuse, one of the biggest and brightest stars we've ever seen. It's both gorgeous and dangerous in a way you can't even imagine. This star is old, bloated, and unstable, like me. <laughs> it can go supernova at any moment. And it hides a mystery our astronomers haven't managed to crack yet. Will it impact the future of our planet? Well, let's see. Betelgeuse is the bright red shoulder of Orion, the hunter in the sky. It's a red supergiant star, and by supergiant, I mean really giant. This star weighs somewhere between 15 and 20 suns, but it's so stretched out that if you dropped it in our solar system, it would reach all the way to Mars. Imagine our planet swallowed by a glowing, bloated ball of reddish fire. No thanks. As for the whole red giant thing, it means a star near the end of its life. When it runs out of hydrogen in its core, it starts burning hydrogen in a shell around it. This makes the star's outer layers puff up and cool down, so it looks much bigger, cooler, and red in color. Betelgeuse isn't exactly in peak health. Massive stars like this live fast and pass away while still young. Their lifetime depend on a lot of factors – mass, spin, how much metal they've cooked up in their cores. But even on the generous side, they only last a few million years. On the tight side, maybe a few hundred thousand. For comparison, our 4.6 billion-year-old sun has plenty of life left. And tiny red dwarfs can keep going for trillions of years. Trillions! The universe itself isn't even old enough for red dwarfs to start kicking the bucket. Betelgeuse has already burned through all of its hydrogen, and now it's running on helium. That's what made it swell up into a red giant in the first place. Back in 2019, the star suddenly dimmed so much, it looked like it was about to explode. Astronomers around the world were super excited. They thought we were about to witness a supernova in real time. But the truth was far less dramatic. Betelgeuse didn't reach the end of its cosmic life. It had just coughed up giant clouds of dust and gas, which drifted in front of it and blocked the light. Later, astronomers seemed to figure out the reason for this thing. The star basically blew off a huge chunk of its own atmosphere into space. And it was massive. The chunk had several times the mass of our moon, and that's about 400 billion times more material than our sun throws out in one of its normal eruptions. Once that piece cooled down, it turned into a giant dust cloud. From Earth, that cloud blocked a lot of Betelgeuse's light making it look like the star was fading. But that's not all. Betelgeuse usually has a steady rhythm. It gets brighter and dimmer every 400 days, almost like a heartbeat. After this outburst, that cycle seems to have stopped, or at least gone quiet for now. When a star is old and unstable, its life might become pure chaos. One moment it's burning hydrogen, the next helium. Sometimes it shuts down. The next day, it roars back to life. Its outer layers are so stretched out that they almost seem to be independent and have a mind of their own. Plus, there are terrible secrets these stars can hide, and Betelgeuse has one of its own. For decades, astronomers suspected Betelgeuse might have a hidden companion star, but spotting it was nearly impossible. Why? Because Betelgeuse shines up to 14,000 times brighter than our sun. Its glow basically drowns out anything nearby. On top of that, our planet's thick atmosphere makes stargazing tricky. Light from space gets blurred and distorted as it fights its way through the air. When the Great Dimming happened in 2019, the Hubble Space Telescope was able to watch it unfold from above the Earth's atmosphere. It managed to clear up fears that Betelgeuse was about to explode. But even Hubble couldn't see through the massive cloud of gas and dust the star had coughed out to check for a potential companion. That's when astrophysicist Steve Howell from NASA's Ames Research Center tried a different approach. He turned to the Gemini North Telescope on Mauna Kea in Hawaii. It's a massive ground-based observatory with a wide opening that lets in more light. Gemini's secret weapon is a high-resolution camera called the Alopiki Speckle Imager. Instead of taking one long exposure shot, 
it fires off thousands of ultra-short ones. It helps freeze the chaos caused by Earth's atmosphere. Later, computers stitch all those snapshots together, scrubbing away the turbulence and leaving behind crystal-clear images. So, Steve Howell and his team got down to work, convinced something had to be there, something that had slipped through all the earlier searches. With the Allopiki camera, they finally had the tool sharp enough to catch it, if it really existed. Howell later admitted the odds were slim. And still, Howell's team finally caught what looks like a faint companion star hiding at the far edge of Betelgeuse's atmosphere. And the best part was that it showed up exactly where earlier astronomers had predicted it might be. Same spot, same distance, and even the same angle. It wasn't just a random flicker of light. It matched the map. Right now, the companion is still hiding too close to Betelgeuse's blinding glare to see clearly. But its orbit will eventually carry it farther out, away from the giant star's brightness. That moment will come in November 2027. And when it does, telescopes should finally get a clean look. Those follow-up observations will settle the question for good. Is this faint little star real or just a data glitch? Oh, by the way, the companion star already has a name. Betelgeuse comes from Arabic and means the hand of al -Jaza, a legendary figure drawn across the night sky by ancient stargazers. They saw her whole form – hands, feet, head, hair – all stitched together by the stars of Orion. So Howell thought it only fitting to continue the theme. He named the companion Suwara, which translates to her bracelet. One day, long into the future, Betelgeuse and Sawara will spiral together and merge. But with a companion star or not, Betelgeuse is old, tired, and basically running out of gas. The clock is ticking, and one day, sooner or later, it'll go supernova. And when it does, it'll be a cosmic fireworks show unlike anything we've ever seen. Based on what we know, its size, how fast it spins, the group of stars it was born with, and the metals in its atmosphere, astronomers guess that Betelgeuse could explode as a supernova in a few hundred thousand years. But don't get too comfortable, it could happen tomorrow. Or maybe it already did. Remember, the star is 500 light years away. That means the light we're seeing now left Betelgeuse many, many years ago. If it exploded a century ago, we wouldn't know it yet. The star might already be gone. But when we finally see it go supernova, it'll be a show like nothing else in human history. A supernova can outshine entire galaxies, and at this distance, Betelgeuse will be blinding. It could be visible even during the day, brighter than any planet and nearly as bright as the full moon. But unlike the full moon, it won't be a comfortable glowing disk. Betelgeuse will remain a tiny pinpoint in the sky, but staring at it might actually hurt your eyes. This brilliance will last for a few months before fading, as all supernova do. And don't worry, it won't hurt us. Why? Well, as crazy as a supernova is, stars are really far apart. That's where the inverse square law comes in. The energy a star or supernova emits spreads out over space double the distance, and the energy per spot drops to a quarter. Ten times the distance, and you're only getting one hundredth of the energy. It's the same reason you can walk a few steps back from a campfire and go from roasting to freezing in seconds. Anyway, what happens next is out of our hands. Maybe Betelgeuse will keep wobbling along for thousands of years. Or maybe tomorrow night, it'll light up the sky like never before. Either way, the universe has a way of surprising us, and the future will show what this giant star has in store. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.